Hello everybody, welcome to Walking and Talking with Phoenix. Today I'm quickly going to touch on silence and how silence def defines the quality of a connection more than noise. A lot of people feel awkward whenever they enter conversation, a pause, especially a prolonged pause. And they feel the need to fill the gaps, to fill the empty spaces, to fill the silence with noise, with words, with anything. Someone might even fart just to break an awkward silence. At least there's something to laugh at. And then you can go back to whatever. And I think people overestimate the importance of noise and the importance of talking and word, using words in order to connect with each other. As Alistair Crowley said, to speak is to lie and words don't really reveal as much as they conceal because when you think about it, a feeling essentially, you know, it can be infinite in its breadth or its capacity can be to any such depth to the point where any word, any finite word or simple representation often falls short of really capturing an emotion, capturing a sentiment and expressing it adequately you know if there's an ocean of feeling it's hard to find the right bucket in order to deliver that ocean to somebody and into their ears it's hard to find the right words to communicate our feelings and our meanings especially when they're really deep really rich feelings and sentiments so words can conceal and they more than they reveal and they can limit down something which is potentially infinite or as you know, like I said as far as a feeling or a sentiment can go so I think when it comes to bonding between humans and bonding with friends between lovers I think that when you can get to the point with somebody we can handle the silence and you don't feel uncomfortable and you don't feel a need to fill it or to say something if you can handle the silence without things getting awkward and just be content with that, just being in the presence of that, you know, whoever it is you're with, I think that says a lot more about your connection and the quality of your connection than somebody's aptitude to fill spaces with words can. Just your ability to maintain conversation. I don't think that says as quite as much as your ability to let the silence define your connection. And that's the basic idea, you know, I think people are afraid of silence, they're afraid of emptiness, they're afraid of stillness. They're pretty much afraid of all things yin, feminine, in general, because we live in a very yang-based society, a very masculine, logical, active society where if you're still and you're doing nothing and you're being quiet that's that's seen as being counterproductive that seeing is doing nothing and some people might feel shy or embarrassed or judged or awkward to be doing that or to not be doing anything more so and I think you know this could probably be another topic but I'm going to chuck it in quickly now that stillness is very important there's no point moving about and being active and building things up and being executive and initiating, you know, pathways in all different directions. If you haven't really taken a moment to be still and to center yourself in silence, to gather all, gather your mind, so to speak, before you spill it out into thoughts. And if you haven't really taken a moment to, to meditate on which direction you want to go, which actions you want to take and why, and if, whether or not it fits into your big picture plan. Then people get so caught up in the need to act and the need to talk and fill the gaps with action and words that sometimes they might even forget why they're talking and what they're saying, why they're acting or what they're doing and what it all means essentially. And then maybe eventually they look back at the end of their career or at the end of a series of events and they think, how did I wind up here? Why did I choose to go in this direction, down this path? Why did I make those choices? Maybe it's because people are too top-heavy, too much in their head, 
and they're not really spending enough time in that stillness, entering that space in the heart where everything is quiet and still and in, in that center of your being you can find a sense of yourself a very faint whisper you need to be very quiet and very still in order to feel it in order to tune into it, in order to hear it but trust me, just taking that break for a moment centering yourself realizing why you're doing what you're doing and acting from your core then you can start using your head then you can start filling the gaps with action and words and you might find that they actually start getting you places that are aligned with your heart and you'll be all the more satisfied and fulfilled for doing that and that's today's food for thought appreciate the silence sir